In the last five years on YouTube, I've created well over 1500 different YouTube thumbnails and I've tested many, many different elements inside of a thumbnail to figure out what works and what doesn't work. And in this video, I wanted to share with you a completely free way and a very easy way to design professional YouTube thumbnails that actually get clicks from all the experience I've had that got me over 100 million views on this channel. Let's jump in here and create a highly clickable YouTube thumbnail. Now, depending on the type of content that you're making, you may want to use some text and you may want to use a picture of yourself on your YouTube thumbnail. And I experiment with this all the time. Sometimes a picture of me works very well. Sometimes text works better. Now, a very easy and free way to make YouTube thumbnails is by using this website called Canva. And I'll put a link below. You could sign up completely for free. You don't have to pay for anything. And under the search box, you could just search for YouTube thumbnails. And what this is going to do is it's going to give you a lot of templates. Basically, these templates are created by professional designers. So you don't have to have any design skills. You could click on one of these and edit it exactly as you would like instead of creating something from scratch. So here it says blank YouTube thumbnail. I usually wouldn't create a blank one. I would use a template. So let's go through some of these. I should point out this crown option right here where it says pro. Some of these are not free. Some of these templates Canva is free, but some of the things that you'll see on here are a paid upgrade that requires Canva pro. Now, this is something I would upgrade to later on, but you can get started totally for free. And then if you decide to use some of these thumbnails, you can upgrade to a subscription. For this video, I'm going to choose a completely free option. So let's go ahead and find one that is free. And I'll choose this one here. This is going to be very easy to edit and I could change anything I see over here. So I'm going to show you how to change some of the elements you see. And what's great about this is it has a place for your picture. So you will go over here and it has a place for text, but you don't want to use too much text. That's one of the biggest problems I see with YouTube thumbnails, way too much text. So this is how simple this is. If you've never used Canva before, basically over here, there's different tabs that show you different things. Under templates, you'll see other templates that are available to you. So if you were ever to change one of these, all you have to do is click on a different one and it replaces your existing template. I'll go back to this one, but this is a great place to search. Elements are different things like shapes and logos and icons that you could use. So if I wanted to add a YouTube logo, I could drag it. I could grab the corners to resize it and I could place it somewhere within my image. Let's say I did want to keep a YouTube logo here. I will put it over here. Then you have upload. I will show you this in a second, but you could upload a picture of yourself, for example, and you have text. So with text, you could grab any text you see and bring it into your image as well. And you could resize these and put them somewhere within your image. In this case, I already have text. So I'm going to press delete and I'm going to double click on this text. So YouTube thumbnails, I'm just going to type out my own and I could resize this box to make sure it all fits over here. So YouTube thumbnails. And in this box, I'm going to double click and I'm going to type beginner's guide. Now with any text, you could select it and you will have all kinds of editing option on top. So if I wanted to increase the size of text, I could just go ahead and do that or type that in here. I could change the color of it as well. So I'll go ahead and change the color here and I'll make it bold. So text is really easy to work with inside of Canva. The style tab here lets you change the overall layout colors. In this case, I'm happy with this template, but if you were designing something on your own, it makes sense to use colors that work well together. So that's styles. Audio, this is related to if you're using a video or creating a video with Canva. Thumbnails are just pictures, so we don't need to worry about that. And backgrounds, you could change any of the backgrounds you see here using all kinds of more advanced background options. So I could drag this background, for example, and replace the existing background with something like this. But I'll stay with the template color since a professional designer created this. Now I'm going to select this image here because I need to put a picture of me. This picture doesn't make sense. So I'm going to press delete right over here on my keyboard and that picture is gone. So now I could go to upload and upload my own picture. So I have uploaded a couple of pictures here. You would simply just press upload or even record yourself. But I post for a picture here. This is just from my video here. So I could select this 
And I could actually crop. I could press crop here and I could just crop the sides. I'll crop this side, I'll crop this side. You could crop the bottom too and then press done. So now you could grab this and put it in this corner, for example, just like that and let go. Now there is an option where you could actually remove the background as well. If you wanted to have no background, so then you would just be on top of the blue background, you would just press edit image here and there's an option for background remover. So you could select that, but this is one of those things that does not come with the free Canva. So if you don't want to upgrade and you don't want to pay for that, you'll just have to use the crop option to put your picture over here. But it does have other options like this is pretty dark so you could actually make it bright, bring up the contrast and even bring up the vibration, the saturation here to make it really pop within your image. Now I could go ahead and delete a element here and I'll move my text on top maybe right over here. Now I'm only spending a couple of minutes to show you how to do this very quickly but you could definitely go back to your templates and try out a variety of different templates to see if something maybe looks better than what you chose already. So if you didn't want to stay with this design and as you're adding your elements you don't like it, just go and click on a different one and I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and delete this as well and it kept some of my text and I could start here. I could just go ahead and replace this image instead, go ahead and change this text instead up here and then design it again. If I don't like it, go back to templates and do it all over again till I find a template that I could use multiple times moving forward. I'm gonna go back to the previous one. If you ever go back to the home page, by the way, you will see your previous design. So this is something I chose on a different video. So I could select it and edit with this. This is one where I actually cut myself from the background using Canva Pro. I'll choose a different background actually for this one. So let's go ahead and look at all the different backgrounds we have. And I'll choose a solid color background here, maybe a blue instead of red. Again, take your time, use a variety of templates. And then when you're happy, press download up here. And to use this for YouTube, you could use it as a PNG. That's just a file type. YouTube also likes JPEG. So you could use JPEG. 1280 by 720 is the YouTube thumbnail size. Again, you don't have to know that since Canva knows that. Just press download right here. It's gonna download it on your computer. Now all you have to do is go to YouTube, upload a video, and it's gonna ask for you to add your custom thumbnail, which is what we just downloaded as a JPEG here. You would upload it to YouTube. And after a few videos, make sure you analyze those thumbnails to really see if the video is working or not. Usually videos don't get clicks because they have a bad title or not a very clickable enticing title or a search based title. And also because the thumbnail is not very well made. So between figuring out titles and thumbnails, you will figure out how to get more views. Make sure you improve those over time. And I have a ton of other videos covering those topics in this channel. Now, if you want to take your YouTube to the next level, if you want to monetize it, like I've monetized four channels now, using the same technique I use in every single channel, which is my content strategy, make sure you check out the free training that I've put together for you. That walks you through exactly how I got 100 million views and monetized four channels on YouTube. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.